Who are they? I'm waiting. Who are they? They were. Paco Diaz, Jose Huerta, Jesus Sanchez. But he's naming us. Diaz. Jose Huerta. And Jesus Sanchez. And now it's your turn, Monetero. Monetero? <laughs> Think you're fast enough to go gunning for him? Faster. You can bet your last dollar on it. Hey, Mulligan, what does it feel like to sleep on $300,000? Makes a pretty hard bed. $300,000 is a lot of money, Captain. I hope you're aware of my responsibility. Listen, why don't you relax? You'll wear yourself out. You've nothing to fear. The directors of my bank entrusted that money to me. I wouldn't want anything to happen to it. Be precise, it was entrusted to me and the men who guard it. What are you afraid of, Mr. Clayton? Everything. Anything. You see, I have an excellent record at the bank. Well, I'm up for a very important promotion. They would have been wise to send another man. 
With fewer worries. Put yourself in my shoes. I'm risking my whole career. Your career isn't in danger, Clayton. Goal to reach its destination, only a fool would dare attack us. Yeah. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. It's best to be prepared for anything. That fellow called Monetero is just that crazy. To attack a train with an armed guard aboard? Come on. Not even Monetero would have the guts to do that. Well, I hope you're right. Hangman's Rock! Vamanos! Hey, hombres! The train will not wait for us! Vamanos! The gold is lost. You still see bandits? No. Uh, your precious gold isn't going to be lost. Just try and relax, Clayton. Hey, look! Stop the train! Hey, hold the poles in there! Stop the train! Hey, uh, hey what happened? Tell the captain there's a telegraph pole on the track. Come on. First squad, report to the front of the train. On the double. Well, get on with it. Anderson, get a shovel. The rest of you spread out and keep your eyes open. Go on, get it off the track. I better make sure the gold's all right. Very well. Come on, hurry it up there. Watch the wire, man. Careful. Where's that shovel? Hey, Corporal. Is everything all right in there? Yes, sir. Good. That's it, man. <laughs> now hold it steady. Steady. Hold it steady. Easy. That's got it. That'll hold it, men. Back on the train. Come on, hurry! the insurance and I'd be dismissed. You'd lose your job, so that's why... I wouldn't want anything to happen to it. You're obsessed with bandits, Mr. Clayton. I don't think this Monotero even exists. People made him up to scare their kids. Ain't no one gonna attack us with this sitting up here. Mm -mm, it's the gun for the job. Fire up, Joe.
We're highballing, Joe. Where are you going? Tonight, Come back here. Come back here. Where are you going? Hey, we're missing the train. <laughs> now what's the matter? Why are we stopping? Oh! <laughs> it's a raid. Take that side. Cover the gold. Open fire! Open fire! Watch it. Relax, fella. You'll wind up by shooting that guy. Where are you going? Out. I figure there's no point in waiting around. Well, after a $300,000 robbery, the reward ought to go up to at least 15000 
which would make it 5%. That's not bad at the price. All right, Collins, get back to the fort. Tell him to send reinforcements. Captain, some protection from you and your troops. You let Monadero walk away with $300,000. I'll get the bandits soon, Clayton. I'll bet darn few survived. Fewer the better, too. Get the double crosser, the dirty traitor. After all I've done for him, him and his whole family, now he betrays me. Paco, Guapa, we split up. I want Pajondo alive. See, si, Monetero. Alive, you understand? Muy bien. Vosotros conmigo. Vámonos. Yeah, this is one of them, all right, Clayton. Looks like that $300,000 is making them fall out among themselves. <laughs> Listen to the music, eh? This is the music that does my heart good to hear. <laughs> ah, but this is only a little small change, Charo, eh? <laughs> but think of that mountain of gold, Pahango. A mountain to divide only two ways. But only at the right time, Charo. Because now is the time to hide away in Mexico. The dumb gringos will never catch us. <laughs> this will blow over. And when it does, only you and I will know where we hid it. You and Charo. <laughs> <laughs> Not now, Charo. It's just me and this medallion. The dog with two heads and the dragon with wings will guard that gold. <laughs> Charo Ruiz, $200 reward. Not worth the trouble of carting them in. Poor Charo. Even alive, you wouldn't have been worth any more. <laughs> well, at least you helped me out showing the way to Trescientos Mil Dollars. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. Here, across the river where it may go. Vamos!
But we'll come back. <laughs> when the trouble blows over, we'll come back for the gold. I'll be richer than a banker. Uh, and you'll be rich too, Caballito. You have a manger of solid silver and the arum of caballitas. Abundancia, niñas, bajándose fuerte, bajándose rico. Trescientos mil dólares. shows. It is for you. All for you. And all the money is there. You will see. You wait. But do not stare at me. Do not just stare at me. Whatever I did, it was for your sake. I swear it. This shows where is the money. very well, Captain, but I'm not interested in bandits. I'm concerned about the gold, and it's still missing. But Monotero's here, and with him we'll get the gold. If you want my opinion, questioning him is a wasted time. Your friend Monotero might be a whole lot cleverer than you realize. His capture was awful easy for you. <laughs> Still, I'll find a means to relax his tongue. There's just one thing I can tell you, General. What's that? This place is full of bugs. And they got more brains than your sergeants. He killed the only man who knew where the gold is buried. Make up another story. There's a train carrying gold. And the great Monetero robs the train in front of my eyes. But the only one of his bandits who could recover the gold is very stupid. He got shot. Yes, maybe you're right. Maybe he's dead. But in any case, if you don't tell me where the gold is, you'll be shot too. Go on, shoot me. 
I don't give a damn. But nobody will ever find that goal again. Shoot him. Right. Am I hearing you right? You want to shoot Monetero? That's right. Captain, Monetero's the only one we've got alive. He's the one man alive who can show us where the gold's buried, and you want to shoot him? That is correct, Mr. Clayton. <clears throat> you don't know these men. Monetero will talk when he's good and scared. But do not delude yourself. Not before he's eye to eye with a firing squad. And what if your firing squad fails to scare him? You shoot? Mm-hmm. Mm. There'll be one bandit less than Clayton to rightly condemn the hell fire. Follow me. This way, Padre. He's in here. Thank you. You may leave us, my son. I'll leave you, but you be careful, Padre. He's mean as a hungry wolf. He is our brother in the Lord. Kneel down, my son. So be confused. Stranger, huh? What did you do? Smell a corpse? You dirty buzzard. Maricon. Anything wrong, Padre? No. Nothing at all. He's struggling with his conscience, my son. Mm. <laughs> He's strong, miserable sinner. You have been running after me for a year for that reward. Now you can go to hell with it. Where's the gold, Monetero? The gold? What you want it for? The church? The poor children? <clears throat> I haven't got any time to play. Let's make a plan, Monetero. Hey. Can you get me out of here? I might have thought. Trescientos mil dollars are a pretty good reason for doing it. But my part's 50%. I don't know where the gold is. But I got one clue. Have you got a knife? You get over there. Life insurance, stranger. Monetero still in? I brought his last meal. Sure is. They're treating him well. Father, you forgot to bless me. Huh. Padre, come in, my son. He's as pure as a lamb. Yeah, thanks. Just a minute. Did he tell you where he hid it? Where he hid the gold? The confessional is secret, my son. Uh... ¿Qué 
is Monetero. Monetero's been captured. They've got him in prison. Maldito Sayon. Vamos! Vamos! Andale! I must urge you again, Captain. If this harms the interest of the bank, my boss is going to be very upset. It's my duty. Mr. Clayton. moving, you. I said keep moving. Hold it. Get on with it, Sergeant. What are you waiting for? Get moving. Forward. Hard. Hip, two, three, four. Hip, two, three. I'd feel I'd failed society if I spared that man. I'd call that a poor luck medal. Well, Monetero, what have you to say? Let's hear it. Got the facts straight in that slippery mind of yours since yesterday? You talk too damn much. If you're going to shoot a man, go ahead and shoot him. Get it over with. Go take aim.
you hadn't helped me, friend, I would have been done for. I'd like to thank you. What are you thanking me for? It was just business, that's all. You caught him, I shot him. Quite a coincidence. No, there's nothing coincidental about it, my friend. If I'd have let you, you'd have shot me out of collecting a tidy sum. Wait a minute. May I ask who you are? They call me the stranger. Show me if you got the other half of the medallion on you. I haven't got it. You lousy cowboy. If that's how you want it. Shut up and strip. I haven't got it, I tell you. I'll see for myself. You know who's got it? That damn gringo from the bank. Mr. Coincidence. Come on, I said strip. Oh, I'm embarrassed. I get embarrassed. I only take my clothes off when I... Well, now you're going to take them off anyway, Monetero. Hola, Monetero! Hola, Wapa. No wonder I like you. Hello, Paco. Surprise, huh? Cowboy, get down. Uh, the metal. Never pays to do favors. I got a rule. When there's a man to shoot, shoot to kill. But with you, I didn't keep it, Monetero. You're very funny. Did you hear that, Wapa? He's a very funny character. If you want my opinion, Monetero, not very many hombres are funny like you. I wouldn't spare any gringo because he did your favor. But he is really muy simpatico. Too bad it is all a mistake. Yeah, too bad. Can I smoke?
this ought to raise you to 25,000. There's nobody like you, Monetaro. You're such a darn good investment, I couldn't kill you yet. Have you found it yet? No, it's not in this one. <laughs> Just as I thought. That's the 1830 register of land grants and title records. I told you you should start looking at the 18th century one. That's just what I want. Can I see it? Just a minute. Firmino. Firmino! I'm coming, I'm coming. What is it, Mr. Mendoza? Have you located that 18th century register? Mr. Mendoza, have a little patience. I keep telling you these archives are in much too much disorder. Ah, uh, you'll never make the grade, Firmino. Look, mister, this is extremely important. Uh, he's still an apprentice. He'll learn in time. Uh, can't you come back tomorrow? Taco! I should let you know, is fully covered by insurance. Let me ask you a question. Who are you? Backman. Lawrence Backman, Allied Insurance. The company paying the bank nearly a third of a million dollars. That's real bad luck. Apparently, the robbery was the work of Monetero, a man you've killed. And apparently, the consignment of gold is not recoverable. Not for so big a sum. <laughs> I wouldn't know. It's not my business to go looking for the money, is it? Suppose it happens that Monetero shows up again. Hmm? Remarkable. Then I assume the supposition doesn't offend you. No. Nobody can hear you. Fine. Well, let's begin by summing up. Nearly a third of a million dollars was traveling under the scrutiny of one of the bank's most trusted employees, a certain Mr. Clayton. <laughs> Thanks a lot. What's your name? Samson. Samson! Do not annoy the customers. Come help me in the kitchen. This 
soup's good. That's right. We're here to get something, Clayton. Something you got. It means a whole lot to... to Monetero. Monetero? Monetero's dead. <laughs> and let's put it like this, to his heirs. You know what we're talking about, don't you? Sure you do. That piece of medallion. Want to finish your food, Mr. Clayton? Before we kill you? And the Lord said, thou shalt not kill. I am sorry, Samson always gets too familiar with the customers. Forgive the disturbance. I run a quiet place, the quietest place in town. Are you telling me your name? Conchita, senor. All right, Conchita, bring us some wine. Si, senor. How many times must I tell you, do not shoot the customers? Hey, are you sure these four are really dead? Mm hmm. Hmm. And Monetero? Would have been sacrilege to take that reward. Every day I wait, it goes up thousands of dollars. And you help it along. Yep. After all, Clayton, when you get down to it, everyone's out for himself, right? Here we are. I have brought the wine, senores. It's the best we have there. Gracias, senor. Samson, come and clean up. There are bodies all over the floor. Well, let's tell you. Ah. Something that tells me that we got a mutual problem. I figure we ought to talk it out. Hmm? But first, let's split the bottle. Fix up a bed for him. I brought a bottle we can share. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Where did he go? 
He's been gone more than an hour. Where to? In the red direction, he says, along the river. Mata! Mata totos! Bang, bang! <laughs> Come on! You must have got up real early this morning. <laughs> Get up. Get up. <laughs> Why, you're still drunk. Is this some kind of hoedown? That way sounds almost complimentary, Clayton. And you're a liar. Come on. Too much, you've had enough. Me? I say we both have. All right then. Hand over that half crest. What for? I want to find that cash. For the bank, huh? Afraid you better come up with something better than that. Come on, let's hear the real reason. I must find that cash. Well, let's suppose you pocket it all. Bet your boots that 300,000 will be hard to carry. Well, our half safe in there. Sure about that? Don't you trust anyone? No, not really. But I'm afraid I gotta make an exception with you. <laughs> Come on then, partner.
we got company. You'd better keep going. I'll cover you from behind, don't worry. I'd appreciate it. Clayton. Yeah? Debes venir con nosotros. Come with us. Uh, of course. It's a beautiful sombrero. Senor <coughs> Clayton! Where are you going? Do not make trouble. Enough of your tricks, Senor Clayton. How come are you? Monitero. No, no, not that. Don't shoot, Hefe. It's me, Pablo. You have no manners. You should knock first. Next time you do that, I'll blow your head off. Paco se me cae del gringo. Bueno, get out. Muy bien. ¿Cómo estás, mi corazón? ¿Estás bien? Te despertaron. 
Ay, qué cosa tan bonita. At last we meet again, Clayton. Where's the half of that medallion? I haven't got it. <laughs> Shut up. Go away, all of you. Where are you? Vamos, muchachos. What a fool you made out of me. I organized the raid, uncoupled the wagon, and you, the great Monetero, let yourself be cheated out of the money. Some partner I chose. Yeah. Pajondo double cross me. God bless his soul. Out of hell with him. Where is the other half of the coin? I told you, I haven't got it. The stranger has it. You should have sent your men after him, not me. The stranger, huh? The big maricón. If I don't kill him soon, I'm going to end up getting nervous one of these days. You should be nervous now. He's got just as good a chance of finding that $300,000 as you do. If I just had that medallion, both halves, then he'd have to deal with me. Remember, I'm the only one who can decipher it. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're one of those politicos who went to school and reads a lot of books and studies a lot. Look, I've got an idea. I'll tell the stranger that the 300,000 is hidden in a well. The coin commission well. The coin commission? Yeah. Hey, I'll be there. And while we're coming, dig a grave. Then we'll go for the money. I'll pay you one big compliment. You are one damn smart hombre. When the stranger sees this, he'll believe anything I tell him. So you get Coenco, amigo. Amigo, amigo, amigo. <laughs> oh, yeah, Paco. Si, Monetero. Show my friend through. Hey, you, get the gringo his horse. Paco, get some men and follow him. De acuerdo. What got into you? <laughs> ah, that Mr. Clayton is a very nice man. Very nice. And you trust that Senor Clayton? Why not? You know how much two half coins make? No, I don't. Two dead men. Three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Let's go, Papa. Mi querido. Let him be, Monetero. Can't you see he's dreaming about gold? One that's so funny. Yeah. I was just talking about you. Yeah, I imagine you had been. You do business like a sly old jackal. Monotero never bargained with gringos. Oh, yes, Guapa, with me he did. We agreed to divide the gold. The whole lot. Right down the middle. 
And as a proper gentleman, I always keep my word. Even if I have to lose that 30,000 on his head. Of course, if anyone should ever find out how easy you get taken in, it'll go down to $30. What do you mean? Clayton just outfoxed you. Outfoxed you like he did me this morning. He did? He's got the other half of the medal. Ah, qué lache. Si agarro al gringo desgraciado, te voy a cortar el pescuezo. Le voy a sacar las tripas. Y lo voy a hacer chicharrón. Por vía de Dios santo. Now he's gonna go and look for that goal alone. He won't get it, though. There's something he needs to hunt that gold alone. And he isn't gonna find it. <laughs> but you're sure it was here, right? It was this morning, but now I can't find it. It was here. I'll bet that absent-minded old fool took it. Mr. Mendoza! What is it? Where's the 18th century title register? Ah, oh, yes, of course. But this morning I lent it to that friend of yours. Are you telling me the stranger? Yes, yes. He told me he'd come at your orders. But something else, too. Firmino, what was it? He wanted to know. I've no idea, sir. You must. But if he asked you, Firmino, how would I know? You were also was? present, weren't you? Try to recollect. I think I'm only an apprentice. Ah, yes. He asked directions to the bears the public use. But, Mr. Mendoza, do you think it's wise to let him read one of our registers in the bathhouse? No guns allowed in here. It's the first thing you take off. The man's dead. Hey, you, I said no guns allowed in here. Now, wait your turn. <coughs> hey, Gonzalez, the rinse water! Si, sí, senor. Hey, I'm a towel over here. Si, sí, senor. I'm next there. Ah, hey, come back over here. See if you can wash my back now, will you? I'll roll in a second. Good night. 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 You know, somehow I got the feeling you've been following me around. Now I see you're busy soaking up culture. In Spanish. My Spanish isn't as good as it should be. <laughs> I took it out for you. Yeah. You better not try and tell me that the gold has been hidden. Some place at the mission in Cuenca. Where's the medallion? Huh? Hmm. It's beautiful, isn't it? No guns allowed in here. I said, take off your gun. Cayete. This is it. Winged dragon, two-headed hound. The Montego coat of arms. Ancient family of conquistadores established in the Sierra Guarani, 1597. Let's see. Battled the Indians and took their lands. Ah, in 1789, supported the cause of independence, but their hacienda was destroyed by the troops of General Ribera. The Sierra Guarani. You stopped the train not far away. Half a day's riding would have got your friends there. Let me see. There is a ruined house on one side of the Sierra Guarni.
on which side? I wouldn't have thought it mattered. In time, you'll see, partner. So we're partners now, are we? You and I are both good for $150,000. Where do you think you're going, mister? You heard me, friend. 
The stranger got away. You did, huh? You're a damn liar. And I'm gonna kill you. I don't think you will. Because I know what the $300,000 are. You do, huh? You sure? Don't fool around with me, Clayton. I warn you. Trust me. All right, amigo. I trust you. Come on, then, and I'll show you. Strange this door. Yeah, too easy. Too late. Well, we figured you'd need our help to count all that money. It's two against one. And I ain't about to lose my head. Yeah, might even say I'm prepared to consider making a deal. Three-way split, huh? But of course, share and share alike. Hmm, sure, why not? Why in the hell did you say so before? Because I'm obliged, friend. I'm obliged to shoot at anyone who starts shooting at me like you did. Put that back where it was, Monotero. You heard him. Congratulations, stranger. 
excellent work. You dirty traitor. And if you look in the chest, Mr. Backman, you'll find the rest of it. Want to check it? Not now. After all, your reputation in your profession should assure full value. My advice is to see it's all as per contract. Come on, look at it. Hmm. One bag, which I promised when the job was complete. According to our bargain, those two are mine. There's a big reward for Monetero. And the bank should be posting a good one on Clayton, too. Well, I'm off. I'm anxious to get to Boston. For this time, I'll be in Clover. And I hope, in case you're there, you'll look me up. I doubt it. There's never been a bounty to collect in Boston. Querido. I'm ready, my dear. I know we mustn't miss the train. It's true. I... I'm leaving too, Monetero. If I didn't, I'd miss a fabulous chance. Understand? There's nothing for me here any longer. It's all right, Wapa. What the hell's the difference? Everybody around here is unfaithful anyway. Nice to have met you, Senor. My Blake. pleasure. Um, load it up on the buggy instead. All right. And put a cover on it. I'll be right with you. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, I'll see you in Boston, won't I? Please, Senor. All right. Hurry up, my dear. Put up your hands. Come on, reach. Go on. You damn fool. You're not gonna let him get away with all that money, are you? I never did trust him, insurance man. Look, stranger, why don't we just risk our necks to get ten bags of stones? Bags of what? Stones? You fellas didn't think there was gold in that chest, did you? <laughs> Poor Mr. Buckman. He thought he was so clever, like you two. Hey, what if Buckman had checked those bags? Then what? I'd have been satisfied with the reward for turning you in. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't laugh yet, Clayton. Don't forget the one they'll post on you. to pay me that 30,000 reward on you, to stop me from turning you in. Ah, que bandido desgraciado eres. <laughs> yeah, and your share will be one bag light, Clayton. Huh? Well, I'll pay you the difference after you get tacked up. <laughs> Amigos, it is not fair to divide it without us. What the hell's the matter with you, Paco? Are you loco? Are you out of your mind? Don't you trust me? 
Don't you trust Montero? No, Happy. The gold belongs to us. Well, gentlemen? Paco. He tried to steal from Monetero. Partners alone at last.
Thank you.